Rafael, this is your second fight in the fight sphere and the fight bubble here. Uh, you kicked it off for Bellator's first show during the pandemic. Uh, can you speak on what it's been like here, your, your second week at Mohegan Sun? Yeah, it's uh, more of the same. You know, everything I feel like is ran, you know, uh, very high quality. Everything is like uh, very, I feel very safe and I feel very um, prepared. So um, I'm definitely happy that I got another fight before the end of the year. You know, I'm, I'm super excited about it. So I can't wait to perform on Thursday. That's the only difference. I fought on Friday last time. I'm fighting on Thursday this for CBS. All right, we'll turn it over here to our media joining us virtually. Steve Jewin, your line is now live. Afian, thank you for the time. And since your fight with Cass Bell has already been mentioned on the call, how do you feel that your next opponent, Keith Lee, compares to your previous fight? I feel like Keith Lee is a little bit more experienced. Um, I feel like he's like, he's a lot like me. Um, he's he's athletic. He's pretty much good everywhere. You know, I just feel like I have the tools and the knowledge to um, yeah, take advantage of, of some some areas that he he isn't as good at. And, um, you know, I feel like I have the tools to 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 be a little bit better than him in every area. So you've already got an incredible record amassed to this point, 14 and one. So where does another win put you in this stacked Bantamweight division? I think that puts me right into title contention. You know, um, I was slated to fight Josh Hill before that. And the, I was it was mentioned to me that it was a title contention fight. So um, I'm right in the picture with those 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 names that are in uh, title contention. You know, um, I could fight for the title here in uh, two, one. You know, I've, I've been offered a title fight before. So um, I, I, I'm right there. All right. We look forward to the fight on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Donna. Hi, Rafian. How's it going? Pretty good. How you doing? Not too bad. Keith Lee uh, doesn't. You know, you you mentioned he's a a bit more experienced, but of course he's a a big name in the in the, the bantamweight division. I mean, a, a win over Keith Lee certainly puts you in the discussion to be fighting the the bigger names in the division. Can you talk to me a bit about uh, what happens for your career after uh, after you get the the W against Keith? Yeah, I think uh, for sure that this is a stepping stone for me fighting those big names. Like his name is big enough because of him and because of his brother. Um, his name is a kind of a, a, a trophy in itself. Um, after this fight, I think I'll, I'll have more of the same, you know, so I'll be able to fight more of those those big name guys, those guys that a lot of people know about, you know, like people inside of uh, MMA community and, um, uh, you know, the, the really – experienced people kind of know who I am, but people outside of that don't know who I am. So um, it'll be more of me kind of fighting those guys that everybody knows about. There's certainly a lot of big names in that bantamweight division in Bellator. Do you feel like it's time now that the promotion bring in an official ranking system so you guys know exactly where you stand? Because there's still no title. There's still no, or sorry, there's only just after getting a champion. Sorry, I, I miss. I forgot that one, but they're, they're only just after getting a champion, and there's so many contenders now. Leandro Ego is up there. You've got all sorts of, of names, James Gallagher. Do you feel like it's now time for Bellator to, to get a ranking system in place for, for your division? I think definitely. I think a ranking system would benefit, um, you know, just uh, so guys kind of know where they're at in um, Bellator. But I also feel like that kind of hinders a lot of people from fighting. Like a guy like me, like not a lot of people, uh, they don't, there's not a lot of reasons to fight me, you know? So I feel like if I had a number, if it, if it, if it was, if I didn't have a number, then it'd be, it'd be even more reason for them not to fight me. Um, so I, I, I can see where they, they don't, but I think for me, I, I think it'll, I think it'll be a beneficiary. beneficiary. Anybody, anybody in the division you particularly dislike and would like to step in there with? Uh, there's nobody I really dislike. I think, uh, a fight for me, um, whatever fights are going to get me toward the belt. Um, I think uh, J uh, James Gallagher is funny, you know, so uh, I'd like to I like to fight him because, I, I, you know, I think his uh, the way he carries himself is, is, is pretty hilarious to me. So, um, yeah, I would like to fight him. But um, also uh, Patchy Mix, he just fought for a title. You know, I was, I was slated to fight him before. Uh, he said he would only fight me if there is a title involved. Um, so I would like to fight him, you know, any of those uh, bigger name guys, you know, I'm looking to move up.
you mentioned that buzzword, James Gallagher. He is the guy who every bantamweight, UFC, Bellator, every promotion is always talking about. Do you actually like James Gallagher, though? Like, deep down, do you think – you mentioned that he's I know, funny. I think he, he likes that. I, to an extent, I think he's funny. I mean, to, to me, he's he's hilarious to me. I think the way he carries himself – so I like I like that about him. You know, if he didn't – if he didn't carry himself like that, I would lose some joy in my life. So – um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Lenny March. Hello, mate. How's it going? Pretty good. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you. So, um, heading back to your last fight, uh, at Bellator 250, uh, 242, you said, uh, post fight that uh, you're finding it hard uh, to find an opponent and, uh, Keith Lee stepped up uh, on, on this fight. Was it hard to find an opponent for, for this fight or did, uh, did anyone turn you down or was it quite easy to get in a fight this time around? No, I had a, I've had a fight with, um, Joshua. The thing, the thing with me, like only, only guys who are looking to get to the top are usually looking to fight me. So, um, I had a fight with Josh Hill before this fight um but he he got injured uh during the camp so that fight wasn't able to come through and um Keith Lee is a guy that's you know he's he's looking to make strides and make big jumps in his game and uh he's looking to be the best so he jumped on an opportunity to fight me yeah can't wait to see you back Thursday thank you thanks so much Santiago hi Mrs. Dots greetings from Amsterdam how are you doing doing good how are you doing I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. So who is going to be in your corner on fight night? So I have uh, Gerald Mearshart, um, a UFC fighter, and then um, J- uh, Jordan Griffin, also a UFC fighter, one, two of my teammates. Gerald Griffin or Gerald Mearshart is also my um, jiu-jitsu coach now. Do you think this fight will be on the feet or on the ground? Um, I think this fight will be a little bit of everything. You know, I think both of us are very well-rounded. And um, you will see you see a little bit of everything, if not at least just threatening of a, of a lot of things. So um, I, I can see this fight, um, you know, going everywhere. I, I plan this fight going everywhere. Good luck on fight night, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for the time today, Rafian.